racing uh, this weekend. Well, today we're at Rock Falls Raceway. We're coming out for some test and tune from one to five. Basically just coming out, knocking some kinks out of the car before Brainer next weekend, one of our big races. But uh, we've never ran at this track before. With this car. With this car, at least. We came here with the Saline before we had the YouTube channel, but the white car's been here too. White car has been here. We haven't raced here a lot. We don't know the track surface that well. Beautiful day out. I mean, if we wanted to go super fast, we probably could, but we're not going to. We're just, we're just kind of warming it up for the big race next week. Uh, we got a bigger turbo on it, brand new turbo. Yeah, we got go. Gen go 2 XPR, we got eight on it. Things should make a healthy, healthy amount of power over the other turbo. This um, Hopefully it can uh, run as good as the last one did, but. So with you being the last turbo car, you know, left kind of at all these races and all of our friends, what does that tell you? It tells you that everyone else is a bunch of idiots. <laughs> <laughs> this is like yeah. the last turbo car we have out of all of our it cars is. now. Yeah, there's a bunch of bracket cars out here. This is a track known for bracket racing, so track surface might be too, it, it's gonna be hit or miss probably. But we are set up for like Brainerd. We got the PBRs on it still. More like a radio prep setup, no slick. So hopefully everything goes good. Um, goal by the end of the year, we're going into the 50s at Brainerd. That's the goal with this new turbo. And it should make enough power to do it. It's just if we can put it down when we want to. Sounds like a good year goal. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Personal one. Obviously to get some wins and then obviously to hit the 50s. Right. So We're about 45 minutes old. Hopefully we can get up here right at 1 o'clock and make it work. Yeah, the way to be the first hit. But stay tuned. Battery's off, yo. Who's you leaving on? I wasn't watching. I hey, wasn't watching. I was watching the oil pressure. Throughout the day and the weekend. And I might have to mess with the tune up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So. Tires are good, brother man. Yeah, 15. Awesome. Do you want you to net up? Yeah. Alright, here we go. First pass of the season. He's just gonna go through first gear and then let out of it. a little bit it went 123 to the 60 foot 333 to the 330 but I'm pretty sure uh, I was I lost all power before the 330 mark but my handle in here I think is like got loose or something and it like keeps shutting off this battery switch like I don't know what's going on it did it after the burnout and then it did it right at like 250 feet we're gonna have to go back and look at it but first hit it spooled great left good 
Everything felt awesome besides losing power, but it's a pretty healthy start for this thing with this new turbo. I can't wait. We're only going to get faster. What'd you do for this next one? Uh, we added a little bit of power and just a smidge of timing, and hopefully the battery doesn't kill. A nice little power, like just, you know, just just to, just to flex on the haters. Like the Brainerd? Yeah. Race, yeah. Just... We need one, we need one T and 60 foot here, now. Yeah, right? We right after it. We might be able to get it, maybe. It is getting hot, all the track's probably going away a little bit. And it's windy. But this is a true test for this chassis setup right here at home. Because if it can get down here well, there's no reason why it shouldn't get down at Brainerd well. So Great point. It's a good start to get out here and get three, four runs in, hopefully, and have a good base set up for going into next Friday. tracks going away definitely didn't go as planned but blew the tires off right at the line didn't go anywhere go back and look at the tune-up and see what the old man's gonna do with it make it go a to b here next run so stay tuned we'll catch you in a bit we're back up here for our third pass of the day last one car didn't hook there was a massive bald spot i got him out of it on the driver's side couldn't quite get him out of it on the passenger side so uh car did not hook hopefully this time we took more out of it Might not making at least one more pass today other than this one but we're short on time, we only got like an hour left and there's a lot of cars here. So uh, this could be our last pass, maybe one more after this, but we'll see how it goes. Alrighty, pass number three. Right when it cut. That third lick of the day uh, went super good. 
Didn't lose anything from the tree last year. I went all 32 again, super consistent, exact same light. 123, 60 foot, 322 to the 330. And then it lost power again at like four or 500 feet and it coasted to 503 at 120. Definitely fell fast for being actually making the first complete hit of the year. Uh, I was driving it definitely a little bit. I actually went to go lift right when it cut power because I was getting a little out of the groove, but track isn't even that great. Uh, cars are running great though. Uh, everything seems good, just a little bit of tweaks that we made after that second run and she went A to B, that's all we were asking for. So uh, we're gonna get back, throw some fuel in it, cool it down, and hopefully we can try to get one more before, before this five o'clock and uh, the end of this test session today. Oh, we have 15 minutes to get up there. 15 yes. minutes. What happens What happens when the tuner's gone and not here to dump a tune in the car? Uh, we take the nose out? Then we, uh... No. Okay, battery? Then we send it ourselves. Uh, are we doing battery charger? Should we get Yeah, you could throw it on for a minute. How's this data lock okay? Dude, it just went a 5.0 with six less pounds of boost we ran last year. This new turbo is gnarly. I, I will. 18 pounds of boost. I'll tell you what, we can get this up to 28, 30 pounds. This thing's going, this thing's gonna haul. Drive shaft is beautiful. It could definitely take way more. What was the max amount of boost it made? 18. No, it was 20. They're peaked at 20 on the yeah, gear top change. of first gear. 18 and a half when I lifted. Yeah, and you lifted a little bit early. You said you lost power. Yeah, and then it killed it, and then it lost power. It's like yeah. the car jolted forward because I lifted and pulled the chute, and then it killed it. Not bad, though, huh? Think we'll be able to make one more? Well, if my dad gets back here. Yeah, he's got to dump a tune in it. Or we just, oh. Alrighty, so I just got home. We were not able to make another pass tonight. Uh, the track testing went down at 5 p.m., and we were having issues with the car turning off before the eighth mile. So we are back next weekend at Brainerd for our first race of the series at BIR. The orange car will be there, and I believe the white car will be there, so that'll be a fun weekend. Uh, my new car and the blue car will not be making it, so that's why we're able to bring both the other cars. I mean, that new turbo seems, from the data that we have so far, seems to be pretty spicy. So that is going to do it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little test session that we had today, and I will see you guys soon. Peace. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out. Yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good. Fill my head full of every single doubt. Yeah.